In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the unable to launch game, please verify your game data error message when trying to play Grand Theft Auto 5 on your Windows computer. So I've got the game through the Epic Games launcher, however, it doesn't matter where you purchase Grand Theft Auto 5 from, the methods that I show you in this video will still work for your version. So the first thing that you need to do is just completely close down the error message. And once you've done that, depending on what launcher you are using, you need to ensure that the launcher is up to date. So if you're using the Epic Games launcher, you can check this by clicking on your name in the top right hand corner. And as you can see, I currently have an update available. So I need to go ahead and select update available and I then need to click on restart and update. So if you have an update in Steam, the Epic Games launcher or the Rockstar game launcher, you need to go ahead and update that launcher. So once you've updated the launcher where you purchased Grand Theft Auto from, you now need to go ahead and open up the Rockstar's game launcher and just ensure it's up to date. It will pop up with updating if it does detect a new update. Once you've finished updating everything, the next thing you need to do is open up the launcher where you brought Grand Theft Auto from. So as you can see, I have the Epic Games launcher open. If you use the Epic Games Launcher to purchase Grand Theft Auto, you now need to select your icon in the top right hand corner and you then need to click onto settings. You now need to scroll down and you then need to expand Grand Theft Auto and you now need to ensure you don't have any additional command line arguments. If you do, go ahead and remove them and untick this box. If you purchase the game through Steam, I will show you how to do this through Steam. So once you have Steam open, Go ahead and find the game. I'm just going to use Battlefield as the example. You then need to right click and go to properties and you will then see launch options. You need to just remove anything that's within this box. Once you've done that, now go ahead and launch Grand Theft Auto and see if that helped resolve the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is go to the location of where you installed Grand Theft Auto. Once you're in your GTA 5 folder, you now need to find the GTA 5.exe. As you can see, it's right here. You now need to right click and go to properties and you then need to select compatibility and you now need to tick run this program as an administrator. You now need to press apply and OK and you then need to do the same for the play GTA 5 and go to properties, compatibility, run this program as an administrator. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game. If you're still having issues trying to launch the game, then the next thing you need to do is go into redistributables and you now need to run the Rockstar Games Launcher.exe and you now need to select your language and press continue and you then need to press continue again and then if you agree to the terms, press continue and you now need to choose where you'd like to install the Rockstar Games Launcher. Ensure you're installing it to the same location of where you've already got it installed to. You can then go ahead and press continue and it will now begin to install everything that is needed to run Grand Theft Auto 5. Once you've done that, go ahead and keep Run Rockstar Games Launcher selected and press close. As you can see, it's now updating the Rockstar Games Launcher. You now need to sign into the Rockstar Games Launcher and keep Remember Me selected. You can now go ahead and select Grand Theft Auto 5 from your library and then click on Play on Epic. If the game is missing from your library, then you need to select Settings and you then need to click on General and then click on Scan Now and this will scan your computer for Grand Theft Auto 5. Once it's been added to your library, go ahead and launch GTA 5 through here. If it still doesn't allow you to launch the game through this launcher, then launch it through the launcher that you purchased the game from. For example, I would use the Epic Games launcher. But keep the Rockstar launcher open when you do this. And hopefully that will resolve the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is scan the game files to check if any of the files have become corrupt or missing because if one of them have then this will cause a lot of issues when trying to launch the game. I will show you how to do this in Steam and the Epic Games Launcher which I will launch up now. In the Epic Games Launcher you need to simply select your library 
and you then need to click on the three dots under GTA 5 and you now need to select verify and this is going to check all your game files. If it does detect an issue then it will fix the files. Once it's finished go ahead and launch the game and hopefully that's resolved the issue. So in Steam it's very similar. All you need to do is go to your games library, right click on the game in the menu on the left hand side, go to properties. You now need to select local files and then verify integrity of game files. As I said earlier, I'm using Battlefield as the example. Once this is finished, go ahead and launch the game and hopefully that has fixed the issue. If you're still unable to play GTA 5 on your computer, then unfortunately you might need to reinstall the game. So I would suggest you uninstall it first and then install it again. If you do have another hard drive, then try installing the game onto a different hard drive. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click on the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.